Welcome back to the Value Investors Club. I'm your host, Simon Wunderlich. Let's get right into it with VIC Readings, the format where we look at the best of the best investment recommendations by the best of the best value investors out there on VIC. Today, we have Argo Group International Holdings Ltd. Argo.pa. Followed by David101, uh, price at his point of recommendation was $20.92. Description. The Argo resettable fixed rate preference shares trade at a 60% discount to par and 8.4% current yield. The unique nature of the preferreds presents a situation that is largely agnostic to the direction of interest rates and could produce a 40% CAGR over the next three years, particularly if it's cold. While not exactly a tremendous upside, it should be fairly stable. For some ba good background on the Bermuda-based PNC insurer Argo, read this VIC radar by Unlatch Mergers from 2020. I recently kicked the tires on it again, but could not get excited enough to buy. The common stock would could do well, but it is a turnaround story as it has divested most of its international business to focus on the U.S., I hate turnaround stories, particularly in insurance, where it takes longer to play out and show actual proof. That being said, there is a value in the business, and I believe that a bankruptcy would be a remote possibility. By chance, I happened to look at the Argo Baby Bonds, ARGD, and the Series A preferreds, and the preferred pricing was interesting. A number of insurers issued preferred shares in recent years that had fixed yields under 6%, some in the mid force. Seeing those pr share prices trade lower was not surprising, as those are almost like perpetual bonds. Even with the recent interest hi rate hikes, most of those are trading with current yields in the 6th. Meanwhile, ARGD trades at a current yield of 7.14%, an almost 10% discount. You could argue that the baby bonds should trade higher due to being higher up in the capital structure. But the reality with insurance or insurers is if the stock and preferred shares are toast, so are the notes. Any insurer invol uh, insolvency in the U.S. is handled by the state insurance department, where the insurance subsidiary is located. The first priority is to pay claims, not creditors, and it and can take many years. With regard to current yields, most other PNC preferreds and baby bonds are trading in the six. The conifer common trades at $1.64, and yet its 6.75% um, senior notes note trades at $23.56 for a 7.14% yield, which makes no sense. The Argo common trades at $22.24 a share. Here we have what is in the bonds. The Argo, the Argo A preferred share tra trading on 7th 21 2020 and having a fixed rate of 7% for five years. Six million shares were issued at $25 par. The first dividend was paid on 9th 15th 2020 and resets every five years. The preferreds do not have a maturity date, but they can be called starting 9th, 15th, 2025. Per the prospectus, the reset is 6.712% plus the five-year tre U.S. Treasury rate. From and including the first reset date, dividends will be payable on a non-accumulative basis with respect to each dividend period. Only when, as if declared by our board of directors or a duly authorized committee of the board of directors. During each reset period at a rate per annum equal to the five-year U.S. Treasury as defined below, as of the most re recent reset dividend determination date plus 6.712% of the liquidation preference per annum. Since the initial dividend was 7%, the assumption is that the five-year was at 0.288% back then, which seems correct. Reviewing the historical data on the five-year treasury rate, that was basically the bottom. The current five-year U.S. treasury rate is 4.14%. If the preferreds were to reset today, the rate would be 10.852%. 
This presents an interesting situation. In three years, if rates are still this high, there's a good chance that the company calls the preferreds at par. If rates go down, there's a good chance that the preferreds trade up to par. In fact, the preferreds traded above par up until five months ago. Either way, the price should return par. In terms of taxes, dividends are qualified for individuals. Since the company is foreign, uh, the dividends are not eligible for the dividends received deduction for corporate holders. Given that, at the small size, this is likely best suited for personal accounts. There are risks. The company is, uh, company is in the process of reviewing strategic alternatives. There are two activist funds that have been aggregating for a sale. Unfortunately, these funds may be underwater and not very happy. If either fund were to sell out, the market may react negatively. Argo has had issues in recent years with adverse uh, reserve uh, development that has impacted uh, prof profitability. The preferred preferreds are non-cumulative, which represents the possibility that if things were to deteriorate, that the dividend could be stopped. I will note that in most insurance preferreds are non-cumulative for regulatory reasons. Non-cumulative preferreds are treated as equity, while cumulative preferreds are considered as debt. When it comes to a leverage, equity is better than debt. Catalysts collect dividends and wait for price to rise or be called and redeemed by the company. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time.